Work continues on Andromeda's inside and outside. While I've tried my hardest to vary the content in recent videos, I'm also trying hard to represent the full process of exactly what's required to restore this boat. In reality, there's a whole lot of paint that needs stripping, and to get through this, I've sped up the footage by 2,000%. On the outside, I'm using a multi-tool with a blunt scraper blade to vibrate the remains of lead-based putty from between the planks. It's really important to make sure I don't damage any wood in the process of doing this, so I'm feeling my way around very carefully. So, um, as it happens, it's currently Sunday, tomorrow's bank holiday Monday, and it's my birthday, so a little treat for me really. Um, I've been lent this boat to go for a sail, it belongs to my family, so I've sailed it quite a lot before, but it's currently between 25 and 30 degrees Celsius. It is Scorchio out here. Um, I've just got my cannon just clamped to the thwart on here and uh, there's quite a bit of wind I'm not sure if you can really hear what I'm saying I've just got the sail kind of semi stalled uh, I've trimmed the plate a bit and um, hey well it's quite comfortably sailing itself upwind uh, on a fairly close reach I would say um, who needs an autopilot in fact superb I must admit, I am closing in on a beach right now. Uh, it's maybe 20 yards away. I'll uh, whip out the GoPro so that you can see how close it is. 
I don't have an echo sounder, I don't have any electronics, um, I don't have any lights, it's, it's not really that kind of boat. It's one piece of rope to pull up the sail uh, and a pair of oars. I have brought the outboard engine just in case, but generally the rule of thumb is you'll see the bottom before you hit it, so I'm hoping that rule still applies today. Otherwise the centre plate will just give me a knock and that kind of works quite well as a um, as an echo sound. So yeah, good stuff. So here's the ironic thing, is um, she comes up to windward, stalls a bit, and then just bears away. And we're just approaching the shore now, so I'm gonna go for a tack and see if she does the same on the opposite tack. Hopefully the camera won't get destroyed by the main sheet. Uh, all I've done, you'll be able to see from the GoPro, all I've done with the main sheet is just put a slip knot in it to kind of act as a stopper. And if I pull this tail here, the slip knot just pops out and uh, you know, I can sheet in or sheet out. That kind of works well for me. I don't like to cleat stuff off just in case something leery happens and I need to let the sail go. Instead, I can just pull on this and um, everyone's a winner. She doesn't seem to be sitting that comfortably on this tack though. On this tack. That must be what it is. The, the luff of the sail is being stalled by the mast. I'm currently going backwards, so I just need to get her around really, just get the head through the wind. Give her a bit of a hand to bear away. There we go. And I'm just gonna put that slip mark back in, let it fall out, and uh, and now we're reaching, although I'm in the shade, so I don't really want to stay on this tack for too long. I quite like to be in the sun, to be honest. shift on you know we're certainly moving through the water not, not too fairly close hauled these boats don't tend to like being particularly close hauled because it's that four-sided sail you know it's not very high aspects nothing compared to a racing dinghy I tend to have more fun kind of reaching if there's nowhere particular that I need to go Uh, yeah, it's turning out to be a nice little sail. I 
I quite wanted to put the drone up, but it's the perfect day for it. I just don't dare take off the drone from the boat and try and sail the boat on my own. I've not done it before, and um, that, that would actually ruin my day if that went disastrously wrong. So I'm afraid today we're not going to do that. But another day, we'll definitely do that. keeping a good lookout so I'm a good you know sailor I'm not breaking the rules. I'm set up the bow right now because on this tack back there at the back of the boat I'd be in the shade um, but I don't want to be in the shade so what I've done is um, I've wedged this oar up against the rudder and it's just up against the side of the center plate there and what happens is uh, the boat comes up to windward and then she slows down a bit uh, you might see it happening actually. Um, she's currently bearing away. She drives a bit and then the tiller comes up against the rudder, uh, not the rudder, the tiller comes up against the oar that I've wedged in the gap. So currently she's bearing away and it's about to come up against the oar. And then she comes up to windward. There you go, look. Now coming up to windward. Slows down a little bit and then comes a little bit upright, the mainsail will start to luff just a tiny bit and then naturally she then starts to bear away again as you can see and then carries on sailing and I literally, if I uh, wedge my phone there between my feet, I'm literally hands free, sat in the boat, in the sunshine and she's coming up, coming off, coming up, coming off and uh, this, this mainsail, as you can see, it's got a lovely shape to it. Look at that for a mainsail. Uh, it's, just, it's just driving me, so you don't need an autopilot in a boat like this. You can just uh, sit up the bow and have a good time. There's actually a barge just over there. I'm just keeping an eye on that because we're sort of on a course at the moment as in um, a collision course. We're on a constant bearing, so I'm just keeping an eye on him. But there's nothing, there's nothing downwind, really. So, yeah. Thanks for watching, as always, and for the really great messages and comments that I've had. I honestly do read and reply to all of them, and I've had loads of great advice and tips. And it's really great to see that so many people are enjoying the channel. Lots of love to the Andromeda crew, and if you want to find out how you can get involved in the project, head to the link in the description below. Remember, if you like what you see, hit subscribe and give it a thumbs up.